Hello, this is Pod. Uh, I like to talk about the After Effects, Cineweb, and Adobe Illustrator workflow. So in this case here, um, when you working with After Effects, right, you will have some new features that will enhance your project into three dimensional. Okay, today I'm going to work. Uh, show you the workflow. Okay, now let's start with After Effects. You create a new project. And then create a new composition. So in this case here, I'm going to just create a full HD 1920 by 1080, 30 frames per second and five second animation with white background color. Okay. And so when you want to turn on the CineWave and Cinema 4D function in After Effects, you can go to the new layer and select layer new and create Maxim Cinema 45. And the first for the first time when you open it up, uh, it's asking you to save the file. So you can name the file the way you like. Okay, in this case here I'm going to call it demo. Now it will ask you to save your file. And then after you save your file the CineWave window will pop up, right? At the same time, you will be able to um, open the Cinema 4D Lite version or Cinema 4D. It depends on which version you have installed on your computer. So in this case here, I have my uh, Cinema, Cinema 4D installed on my computer. So I have that demo show up right here. Uh -huh. If you open this for the first time, they will asking you to log on. So you can use your Facebook account to log on or your Google account to log on to activate the live version. And if you have a full version, the full version will pop up. Okay. So now I have my interface to Cinema 4D stand by me. And then I also have it on After Effects. So I like to show you what it looked like. Uh, I'm going to create the models on here. This is the models that I just pop it up uh, from the primitive shape on here, right? And then um, you can, you know, maybe just do a quick setup on this by adding some color on the models by creating the uh, new material. And then I'm going to use a, a basic material uh -huh, like this blue and drop and drop onto these objects. And now if you look at your After Effects, right? Uh, you should be able to, you know, to view the files on that. If I save this model, the project is originally saved as a 19, uh, version 19, it's fine. So now you can see, you know, as soon as you save it in Cinema 4D, you will see it in After Effects. And then uh, you may choose different level of the preview quality. So in this one, you have a current shading, wireframe, box. So you can see it depends how fast your computer is. And then a render. Um, right now, my computer is showing on the software render. I can change it to a final render. So it gives me you know, a smoother rendering. So this is how you can work between After Effects and Cinema 4D.
you also have option to open your file, Cinema 4D file, by go to file menu in After Effects and go to import and open the file. So this way it will allow you to open Cinema 4D file previously as well. Okay. Thank you for watching. We'll have to talk about the user interface of Cinema 4D on next clip.